I'm supposed to be leaving on a small tour today, but my bike started making a noise, so I'm just wondering, would you happen to be able to look at it today, or? Cool, thanks very much, I'll drop around, cheers. So I should probably explain, the uh, South Morton Bay Islands, a bunch of islands, all inhabited just off the coast of Redland Shire. So a bit north of the Gold Coast and in between the mainland and Stradbroke Island. And they're all really well connected, really well serviced by ferry. Yeah, I thought I'd go and check them out, go for a bit of a bike ride. It's gonna be fun. So you're allowed to bring your bikes on the train. Uh, there were actually three different bikes and two scooters at one point here, but everyone's cleared off, so you know, I've got the place to myself. So yeah, in terms of the trip, taking the train to Cleveland, and then I'm going to have to ride to the ferry terminal, which is about 45 minutes away. Wellington Point Station, mind the gap. But then the ferry is really quite quick and it goes between all of the islands, so it should be easy to jump on and, and get over there. The next station is Cleveland. This train terminates at Cleveland. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so this is Cleveland. We've made it part of the way through the journey. We're actually outside of Brisbane now. Technically Greater Brisbane. This is Redland Council area. So, but a bit of a bike ride. I think we should set off. Turing that looks like a storm. Kinda does, hey. Where is this? Where is this taking me? Oh my goodness. Uh, far out. Yeah, this is exactly not where I want to be. Uh, I think I now need to go on the road. Oof. It looks like we got some more path here. All right, cool. What is this? <laughs> oh, come on. God damn it. Ah, oh, this was such a bad idea. Google Maps has been saying 22 minutes to reach my destination for pretty much the entire trip. <laughs> I think it's taking into account my pace and estimating down. Let's conquer this downhill. Well, that looks like the ocean. Oh my goodness. So that took way, way longer than expected. It was not a good ride. I don't regret it, but I don't recommend it. It's near on 5 p.m. now. So I guess the next steps are to take this uh, ferry across. So it's just a normal go-kart, normal uh, Southeast Queensland pass. Uh, I don't know how much it costs, but I guess we'll find out. You can take uh, bikes on just easy as that. Let's do that.
Uh, yeah, front doors. We made it. Alright, that was a long trip. So I think we'll hang out with Ryan for a bit. That looks like him coming down the hill. I don't know. And um, yeah, then I'll ride to his place and, and have the biggest shower. I think that's my plan. Hello! Beautiful. Cheers. Didn't have Sprite, he only had lemonade. So. <laughs> Oi. So yeah, this is my first real day on the island. So today is another lovely warm day. I am sweaty. It's a top of 26, which is nice and comfortable, but I think um, with no clouds and high humidity, I'm probably not gonna be doing as much riding as I thought I would be today. So I'm here on Paropa Island, which is kind of attached by a causeway to Maclay. I've always considered them to be the same island, but... Apparently it's separate, has a different name. And I'm right at the very tip, which is a beautiful little spot. You can uh, drive up here. From here, you can see a little bit of uh, Stratty over there. That's actually Maclay Island. So it's horseshoe shaped, loops back around. And, but yeah, so the plan today is just to go for a casual ride. Might get lunch at some point and um, see what we find. So let's go for a ride. So I wanted to start by acknowledging the traditional custodians of this land, the Kwandamuka people, and pay respects to their elders past and present. So we're down here in Corroboree Park, back on Maclay Island now. Apparently this is a area of significance for the local Aboriginal people. And um, yeah, presumably that's why it's called Corroboree Park. Um, so this is pretty sweet. Um, I really like this spot. But I'm gonna head and uh, maybe get myself some lunch. This path runs most of the way up the main strip of Maclay Island. It's very nice for cycling. And it's not especially hilly. Yeah, it is. So I've decided to pop to the cafe to grab some lunch because I'm going to have a picnic at the beach I've decided and that's going to be really cool. So a little bit more ride, a little bit further but uh, yeah, let's go. Uh -oh. 
You know, this is not where I was heading, but I'm a bit pooped and this is gorgeous. There is a beautiful breeze and a little seat for me to enjoy my lunch on. So I'm gonna sit here. The beach is just around the corner. We'll go check out that later. But in the meantime, it's burger time. <laughs> good, good, good. good. So this is the little park around the corner. It's Kundarupa, I believe. Uh, and there's a little beach and it's just really gorgeous. You probably can't see because it's super blown out, but you'll see in a minute. Anyway, I've just been sitting here, drinking some water and thinking I should really head to the next beach, like the very tip of Maclay Island, but I don't want to. It's so far away. I looked on Google Maps, it's a four minute bike ride, so <laughs> I think I'm going to do it. It's going to be good. Um, so let's get back in the saddle, go check it out. So as a side note, I've been clipping my hat onto my bike with a bulldog clip gone missing. I'm gonna go retrace my steps, see if I can find it. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> sorry, I thought maybe it had fallen out of my stuff and I handed it to my missus and she said, uh, in the car. <laughs> um, That's okay. Look, no stress. All right. Thanks, thanks anyway. Yeah, no good worries. to know that at least I'm not searching. Did you hear that? <laughs> So this is Pat's point. This is the very farthest point of the island. Actually, I think the very farthest point of the island is private property. <laughs> but this is the uh, little beach and parkland area. It's gorgeous. There's a little uh, protected beach there with a net to keep out nasties. So, you know what, I'm gonna go for a paddle. This is good. Ah. Uh. Well, that was really refreshing. I didn't even think to bring my swimsuit, but oh well, that was good enough. So here's my bike, here's my ride. I uh, don't know what I'm up to next, so I've just gone end to end Maclay Island. Yeah, I might ride back, reapply some sunscreen, and uh, check out some more. No.
So it's my last day, I've decided I'm gonna head home because, uh, yeah, two days of riding. I'm a bit pooped, but that's great. Happy about that. Problem is, I can't find my keys. I've lost my keys. And uh, yeah, searched everywhere. They're gone. So I can't unlock my bike. I can't get back into my house. And um, yeah, I'm a bit stuck. So yeah, Ryan and I are gonna go and have breakfast at the cafe. And then I think I'm just gonna head home without my bike. Yeah, I got my emergency key from Ben and then pick up my spare bike key, head back to the islands. Maybe another time. So there's an opportunity for <laughs> episode two. Ah, oh, I just feel so silly. Alright, let's head out. Yeah, got my key. 